Baba? Baba, are you there? Can you tell me something? Can you tell me why we still love? Why in the time of revolution and war? The time of red rain and screaming skies, we find hope for the future, a family. Baba, can you tell me about the time during the war when you were making temporary houses in the south? I missed you then. When the sirens went off, Aziz would take me to the air raid shelter. I had a backpack always ready to go. It had my paper and crayons so I could draw. One time when we got to the shelter, Aziz asked me to draw a tree. But I couldn't and started crying since I didn't have the color green. That's the day Aziz taught me how to make green with yellow and blue. She never smiled, but I knew she was happy when I stopped crying and drew a tree. Baba, I think maybe she didn't smile because she had seen too much. She pulled her hope inside, but it was okay. We liked being quiet with each other. I still missed you though. You were always smiling. Baba, I think maybe the other reason Aziz didn't smile is she had five sons. I'm glad you were one of those sons, the little one at the end, always smiling. I miss you and the uncles. But I love our Skypes on Sunday, the recaps of our days that always wind their way into politics, the revolution, Mossadegh, of how dreams get flushed away. Eisenhower? وزیر خارجش که می اومد ایران اسمش ترومن بود مم. همون زمان ترومن بود که هنوز ظاهرا آمریکایی این اسم این برنامه رو بابا do you know what they called the coup in 1953 operation ajax seriously like a whitewash or bleach stronger than dirt Baba, did you know that when a constant stream of water washes as a plant, it kills it? It strips the life away. It seems strange that water, the source of life, can do that. But dirt is life too. Baba, I never managed to ask Aziz. But how did you bear witness to all this? You always gave everything for the family and sacrificed so much. You got us all to the States, even yourself for a while. But I think sometimes it came at too much cost. How did you do that? and still manage to laugh like you did. Baba, why do I feel complicit in this madness? I'm just an artist. I see the world as I choose and try my best to make sense of things and prop into the darkness a little bit. And if I'm lucky, maybe find a little light or humor along the way. Why do I feel like I carry this weight every day? Baba, where did your laughter go? 
You were always laughing at the crazy politicians and finding humor in their little plots and intrigues. You were like an amused cynic. I could trust you to see their madness like it was some kind of theater and be able to laugh at their folly. It was like you were watching a bunch of kids playing with fireworks and you knew that one of them might get hurt, maybe lose a hand or something, but that there would always be another day. It seems different now, Baba. Where did your laughter go? The sun is gone. It got so dark quickly. Baba, why is there always war? Afghanistan. <laughs> Iraq. Syria. Baba, is this just history repeating itself? I remember that siren. It was the same one you heard as a teenager. It's the one heard in any war by the women and children and the men who stayed behind. You look to the sky and run to the ground. It scared me then. It still does. It's quiet for now. The war is on another border. It's just the sanctions. It seems so vulnerable. The slow drip, like a closing vice on the fragile shell. It's like death in slow motion. Baba? Baba? Are you still there? <laughs> 